Hey folks, this is your host Mandeep and uh, today is uh, January 24th and it's the end of the week and uh, I haven't done a video in a while so I'm going to present a topic that's uh, related to scans. I get a lot of requests uh, you know, related to scans. Uh, I've mentioned this in the past that uh, scans is one of the most powerful tool in um, on the think um, uh, thinkerstream platform, right? And um, if there's one thing that uh, you know um, I've spent a lot of time is learning how to create different kinds of scans, right? And uh, any um, study that you have, uh, which is either something that you end up creating or something that comes default with the the TOS platform, you can create a scan on that. Uh, it's obviously a large topic, uh, a vast topic, a vast topic. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I mean, I can't cover um, you know the entire thing in one day. So I'll do a series of tutorials uh, around this topic. Uh, today, what I'm going to do is uh, something a little bit different. I'm going to, sh I'm going to show you another site uh, which is called uh, finvis.com, which uh, uh, I'm presuming uh, some of you are aware of. And uh, what I like about the Finviz uh, platform is that not only can you do technical analysis or technical scans on it, but you can also put in, um, you know, criteria for doing fundamental analysis. So this is what the home screen looks like, right? And uh, so the first thing that you can see in the morning is you can look at the heat map and uh, clearly, you know, when the day started, uh, today was, um, you know, a, a lot of sectors were green, technology was green, but uh, as the day progressed because uh, of the coronavirus and, you know, other news, um, it fell, right? The market actually dropped uh, and it dropped uh, quite a bit today. But in general, what I do is, you know, I start to, you know, look at things like top gainers, right? And this is uh, something that you can recreate in TOS as well. So, and I'll show you how you can do that in, in TOS. But if you were to just click on top gainers and you click on the overview, then it gives you the, you know, um, the, the stocks it had, the large percentage change. And one of the things I do is um, I'm more focused on stocks that have, uh, you know, high volume, so I can sort that by volume. Um, and then you see, you know, names like, you know, Intel, Intel and, uh, you know, uh, Adaptive Biotechnologies and, and, and many other teams, right? And many other names, team, another, another one that announced uh, results yesterday. So this gives you some, you know, trading ideas that uh, you, you can take. And, uh, you know, we can very quickly go back and take a look at uh, how um, Intel performed today, and uh, just up five dollars. And clearly, this thing, you know, gapped up. Um, and uh, so, in my case, uh, I think the trade was already on for for a while. So the trade actually, uh, you know, originated here, and around uh, sixty, fifty, and then it closed the trade today um, around this at sixty eight. So. It's almost an $8 profit um, on this trade. Now, obviously, um, I don't play results, and this result could have gone um, the other way as well, right? The stock could have easily dropped four or five points. But uh, so there's no way for the signal that I use, which is the ultimate trading strategy, uh, for it to know how the results um, are going to be. Um, anyway, so that's like one way of, uh, you know, scanning for stocks. The other way, you, uh, the other thing you can do is, you know, you can go into the screener, and let me show you a couple of presets that I have created that uh, you may find helpful. So one of the ones that I like is called the large short interest, right? And uh, let's look at all the criteria for this. And basically, and you can uh, recreate this on the Finvis site. I have the paid version of it, but uh, there's a free version that you can use just by uh, you know registering. And uh, the only thing is you will see ads, so it becomes a little bit slow and there's no ability to export um, data out of this. Uh, but anyway, for this uh, discussion, what we're looking at is a market cap of you know over 2 billion. We're looking at short float that's over 30% and uh, all of these stocks that have an average volume of 400,000. And you'll see there aren't that many stocks in the list, right? And some of the stocks that have actually been doing well um, lately are some of the cannabis stocks. So, you know, you have uh, Cron, you have Tilray, which are in the list, and TDOC, and, uh, you know, Restoration Hardware, Peloton. Now, now when a short squeeze happens, right, uh, 
uh, these uh, move up very very rapidly right because people you know are covering shots so one of the things I do is you know in, in this section I will look at top gainers and sometimes uh, well obviously on a day like today when the market was uh, you know um, in, in the downward direction I don't have any stocks but sometimes you know there'll be many days that you will find certain candidates out of this right so so essentially you're looking for you know short candidates you know or, or sorry candidates which have uh, a short float over 30 percent but are top gainers in the market today so those are the kind of stocks that you know you can potentially focus on because they're really you know moving up um, pretty rapidly right so this is a scan that you can easily create using that so one of the other scans that i really like uh, is uh, I call it outperforming for the next month, but uh, in essence, what I'm looking for is stocks that have a market cap of over uh, two billion. Um, and what we'll do is we'll change it to just make it uh, uh, over two billion. And there's an option for that uh, mid. So let's call this mid over two billion. And um, what we had, what we've done is we're saying the quarterly performance of this is at least 20% and in the last month also it has outperformed by 10%, right? Uh, price is uh, over 20 and uh, average volume is over 1 million, uh, 1 million uh, uh, stocks are traded, right? So we get a list of stocks. One of the things we could do is we can uh, you know, hit the export button and uh, it's going to export this file here and uh, no idea why it shows upside down but anyway as you scroll through it fixes itself so what we can do is we can just go and uh, select uh, from here and then we'll go back into the toss platform so what we'll do here is we'll uh, uh, create uh, a watch list here and let's call this uh, easy to find so x uh, we'll just call it out perform and then we will just uh, import and we'll paste the symbols and uh, save it right and so now we have that list that we looked at from um, um, you know finviz in, in, in the toss platform right and uh, we can look at um, a few examples here obviously you know some of these stocks have actually been doing well so let's take a look at beyond and uh, so you can go back and see when once the last time you know uh, it actually triggered a buy so there's a good example of a buy that was triggered one of the things we can do is we can right click on this and you know we can click on the show report and this generated uh, 3216 profit in 17 trades you know so that's a feature that I added into the ultimate trading strategy uh, in the last revision so you can now have a report and you can look at how the stock actually performed uh, on any time period uh, of choice right uh, you know we can look at Netflix as well and Netflix is another stock that's actually done very well and uh, you know so I want to show you how timely the signal was yesterday so so this, this is when the signal got generated yesterday and uh, you know it closed today uh, but you know this came at about 332 and it you know it peaked at 358 right and so this is not something that uh, I'm talking after the fact. In fact, uh, what I did was I also posted this um, on uh, stocktwits.com under uh, my user ID. I posted it when I took the trade, right? So if you look at this, you can see this was posted uh, much earlier um, when it was only up $3. And, uh, you know, once the buy was triggered, it was on. And uh, so if you see this trade, uh, even on this, you know, it's up $12.61 uh, since I actually posted it. And the other trade I posted uh, was today, and that was actually um, the post that I did for my mobile platform when I mentioned that I'm actually taking a short position um, on the S&P. So you can see this is the mobile version of uh, the UTS where a buy was triggered and it was closed here. The yellow round dot is when you close the trade. And then it triggered a shot. So, so this is a great list, uh, you know, to use uh, uh, for uh, you know stocks that have been outperforming the market. Apple being in this list, which is obviously, you know, it has done very well. And one thing you can do is you can always look at it from a higher time frame as well, right? On the hourly chart um, or the four hourly chart, because these are things that are 
you know, are typically outperforming the market for some substantial period of time. So there's no need to, you know, trade these on um, a shorter time frame. So unfortunately, TOS is a little bit slow. Maybe they're doing some um, upgrades over the weekend, but uh, uh, it should come back. So now that uh, you know we have uh, the chart in front of us, we can uh, we can look at uh, you know when uh, you know other uh, when the trade was triggered on 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 the um, on Apple, and uh, so once it redraws, we can see that this trade triggered about twenty dollars in profit already, right? So this is on the um, hourly chart. So this is a, this is when the trade trade triggered. This is where it closed, and there's another one that's currently um, in in flight. So, which is this trade which started on that right here at this price two ninety three, and it's still open. So anyway, this is a great list. Uh, and you can recreate the list uh, using Finviz. Now the only thing is that uh, the way UTS helps is it helps you with uh, the actual entry and uh, exit price, right? So, so this way you're just selecting the right stock. And uh, it's not very difficult to be able to recreate this um, scan on TOS as well. And that's a topic for um, another you know, tutorial. So one of the things I was showing you is this concept of like the biggest percentage gainers on Finviz that we looked at. So if we go ahead and go into the home screen and uh, you click on top gainers. So I've been able to you know recreate that here. So I'll show you how to create this scan so you can look at the edit aspect of it. Uh, let's just scroll down. So what you would do is you know you'll go into net change here and say you know at least I'm looking for stocks that have moved up at least 50 cents. Then you know, look at the percentage change and you can define what minimum you want. You can do 3% or 4% or whatever you like if, if there's too many in the list. Um, and finally, I'm looking at an average volume of greater than half a million. And this is the only script, unfortunately, I can't share because this is part of um, the, the Fusion Edge signal that I provide to users. You know, So those of you who have my Fusion Edge signal, uh, we'll have this script which helps you, you know, figure out, uh, uh, you know, scans uh, uh, for, for the fusion list. Anyway, so once you have this, you can, you know, kind of like go through these stocks and, you know, look at any time frame of choice, you know. Uh, let's look at the 15 minute in this case. So this is the 15 minute chart for um, adaptive biotechnology. And um, if I'm not mistaken, it was also in this list as well. Um, or not. I thought I actually saw this in this outperformed list uh, as well. Maybe it, it was with this with a slightly different criteria. But uh, so this is another good list to have and this is very simple to create and I've shown you how, how to actually uh, create it and you can go back and look at uh, other stocks and see how they perform. So it looks like this probably would have triggered a buy towards the end of the day because as things started to get aligned uh, you, you got to buy somewhere towards the end of the day. Um, so this is an easy mechanism, um, you know, to, to create uh, uh, a short list of stocks that you're interested in. So, you know, so I've shown you two today, the biggest percentage gainers um, and the one that we actually imported from the, the Finviz uh, platform. Um, just want to also, you know, walk you through the trade for, that I actually took today, which was really profitable. Um, and I made you know uh, decent money with that, which is uh, you know shorting the spy, and uh, the the spy shot actually uh, was something that I've been uh, I was eyeing for a little bit, you know, and then uh, um, I thought the market's actually going to move up today given the the news from Intel and uh, a, a couple other tech stocks that um, had positive results, but you know once this buy triggered, I I went actually pretty heavy. Um, on the on the short side here, right? So one of the things I did was I actually covered, uh, you know, some of the position at this spot, um, and then I waited, you know, for it to, you know, go back, uh, you know, touch this average, and then you know come back uh, down again. So I actually added uh, some more shots here as well, which uh, I'm holding uh, over the weekend, but a smaller size um, that I took over the weekend. 
so hopefully this uh, kind of gives you a little bit uh, different perspective on how to create scans because in the past we focused on Thinkorswim, but today we looked at you know Finviz, which is a really useful site. One of the good things about uh, Finviz is that uh, when you go into um, high growth or, or any of these presets that you can create, it gives you a lot of options, right, uh, which may not be available on Thinkorswim. So you can do a lot of technical analysis or technicals um, that you can use to create scans, but this also helps you create scans on um, you know, fundamental data as well. Uh, so hopefully this helps, and uh, if you have any questions on um, UTS or um, you know how to create these scans, let me know, and I'll do my best to help you out. Have a wonderful week.